So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with an incredibly special The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now last night I came back to Revon Tuli to continue with my Great One Whitetail grind and after just one run last night this guy ended up spawning a 10 fabled whitetail. Now this is absolutely wild to me because this grind hasn't been a particularly long one. I have been on off grinding whitetail for quite a few weeks and I've had a few diamonds, I think six diamonds in total, maybe five, I might be misremembering. Nothing really massively big, I think the biggest was like 265 or 266, something like that, maybe 267, nothing really massive. You know, a few nice sized diamonds, and, you know, I've just been working on getting it set up, basically, because I knew that at some point I did want to put, you know, a, quite a bit of time into grinding for another Great One Whitetail. Hopefully, the goal being a drop time Great One Whitetail, which is the, the, the my favourite rack, and a rack that I really would love to get for the Great One Whitetail. And so I've been setting up and just shooting Whitetail and doing a few runs here and there, you know, whilst I grinded for the Great One Black Bear, Great One Moose, I've just, you know, some nights come and done a few runs. Mainly focusing on getting my map really well set up so that, you know, once I'd finished other grinds I could come and spend a lot of time on a Great One Whitetail grind. You know, not expecting anything to really happen. I've been mainly focusing on taking out the bigger bucks, same as I've been focusing with my other grinds, mainly focusing on taking out the bigger animals, and ignoring mainly like the really, really small ones. And after not very very long this guy shows up and it's just wild to me that this has happened like i've never had great ones come so quickly and i just i can't believe it like it it's i don't even know what to say about it like i saw him and i just went into complete shock i i must have sat there for like half an hour just staring at him like what the hell? <laughs> what? Why? What? You know, how? How? How has this happened? I spent a lot of time on these grinds. A lot of time. But this has been a really exceptionally quick grind. Like, I have gotten super, super lucky. All, like, my grinds recently have all been so much quicker. And, you know, like I said, I have changed my grinding style just a bit. And it seems to work better. <laughs> and it's just nuts to me like wow and I, the first thing as soon as i saw this guy is i knew that he was unusual too not he's not just a great one white tail he's an unusual great one white tail look at the rack it's super tall it's super narrow and the tines at the back actually cross this like i've never had like a really unusual great one white tail this is my first one he's like a really high rack non-typical it's so wild looking so so unusual but incredibly beautiful like absolutely stunning now i did have a version of this rack already from way back when i used to grind on rancho back in those days i got one of these this particular rack i got one but unfortunately with the fur type bug the the white tail that had this rack for me unfortunately turned into an albino so in my lodge it's just displayed as just the antlers because I don't like to have the the fake rareness on display so I just display just the antlers on a on a plaque mount which is un unfortunate you know I really like this rack I think it's very cool looking and like I said the only one I had of this rack was sort of condemned to being just an antler mount because I didn't want it displayed as an albino as a like a, a neck and shoulder mount or anything so i was really hoping to get this rack again so that i could actually have it displayed as either a full body mount or a shoulder mount something in the lodge where it displays it a bit better and i got lucky enough to get this rack again and for it to be even extra special and even extra rare because it's really unusual like i have seen some wild looking great one racks posted for whitetail and i've always wanted to get one and this my whitetail great one number eight has a wild looking rack i've had seven great one whitetail six of them i did grinds for previous to this one and then i got one in multiplayer which was wild it was legit and it was just a freaking crazy experience honestly to find a, a legit great one in multiplayer and that was 
you know, I thought maybe then I, I wouldn't go after more Great One Whitetail, but I've just always wanted to get that drop time rack in particular. And I've always wanted to try and maybe get a really unusual Great One Whitetail too. And now I have a really unusual Great One Whitetail, which is super, super cool. And like I said, it's perfect because it replaces that albino. Whilst I'll still keep the the antler mount for the one that unfortunately is now an albino when it shouldn't be. It should be a common. And I'll still keep that antler mount in the main trophy lodge because it's still a great one. I'm so chuffed that I get to actually have a version of this rack that I can display fully. And, you know, with, like I said, either as a full body mount or as a, a shoulder mount, which is what I'm thinking this guy's going to be on. And, yeah, it's just so, so cool. And it was even more cool because not only did this guy have, you know, a good drink zone and a good feed zone that were in decent locations for, for pictures, but he had a feed zone on the top of one of the, like, the hilly areas in Revontuli. And it's just incredible. So this was my first little photo shoot with him that I had up here in this sort of like red vegetation area up on one of these hills. And then I tried to get close to him again and unfortunately I got too close to that doe and she spooked. Now what will happen is if you spook one member of the herd, the the herd will follow the, the spooked one. Which is what you can see they're doing here, they're following that doe that has spooked off. But I really really wanted to try and get close to this great one and try and get some pictures of him with that rising sun with this red vegetation because i knew it would look incredible and i get really close to him here and i'm like okay he's gonna spook and and he just doesn't he starts trotting off again so i have to go and catch up with him again and again i've said this before approaching animals from behind they seem to be less aware of you but he goes alert and he turns towards me and i'm like okay this is my opportunity better get a couple of quick pictures before he spooks but what happens next is beyond any explanation I have. You know, like I've said, approaching animals from behind, I know that they tend not to spook very quickly and stuff like that, but I have no idea why this buck didn't spook. This was like a real life encounter for me. This is like when I've encountered a deer out on a walk and rather than spooking, they just stand there and stare at you and you're like, why aren't you spooking? I think you're supposed to run at this point, aren't you? Like, that's what this felt like because he just didn't run. You can see he knows I'm here. He's stamping his feet. He, he knows I'm here. Just again, like a real life deer will do. I've had deer stamp their feet at me in real life. It's, in, it's so incredible, the attitude, I love it. And you can see he's doing that. Like he knows I'm here, but he just wasn't spooking. And so I just stood here trying to get as many of these pictures as I could because look at this scene. Like, could you ask for a more scenic, just view like that is incredible that is just jaw-droppingly beautiful i don't even have the words to describe how awe-inspiring and stunning this scene is the rising sun illuminating the red brush and then a great one with the new models because this is my first great one whitetail with the new models for whitetail i haven't had one since they got the new models so this is my first time seeing a great one with these new models and in this environment i mean just wow like the photography aspect is something i love i i really love photography whether it's in real life or or gaming or anything like that art and photography are two of my favorite things and so when i can bring that you know into call of the wild when it comes to taking pictures and stuff i love that and this is like a photographer's dream. I mean, this is the kind of scene that I tried to capture in real life when I take pictures. You know, animals with the the environment and the rising sun or the mist or the fog, you know, anything atmospheric. And I mean, talk about atmospheric. And it just, at this point in my mind, he became nicknamed the Sunrise Buck because he just is the Sunrise Buck. Getting to spend this incredible encounter with him where he just wouldn't spook at sunrise is incredible and literally i do not know why he didn't spook at this point he's like i'm expecting him to spook and he just isn't and i'm like why like i'm not fully hidden my wind is okay i think if my wind was bad he would definitely have spooked but i guess he just wasn't getting close enough to fully realize i was there because i wasn't moving very much and i was only really moving when he had his back to me 
that he just wasn't able to fully detect me and actually fully spook off which has meant i got to get some really incredible pictures of this guy and i honestly i just couldn't wait to share these i've been really really excited about it because this happened a couple of days before my birthday it's going to actually be my birthday when i post these and this feels just like the biggest birthday gift to actually be able to share this and you know take these pictures and everything like it's like an early birthday present for me and it's weird i've gotten so lucky in july which is obviously my birthday month and i've said it must be my because it's my my birthday month i've just gotten really good luck for this month and i hope it continues i really do but honestly i feel like at some point my luck's gotta run out now because this has just been the wildest good luck streak i've ever had you know, I've played this game for nearly 6,000 hours between console and PC. And I've never had luck like this with anything. And then I've just had the wildest good luck recently. And it has been incredible. And getting to actually be able to share it with you all has been so rewarding and so fantastic. So thank you for, you know, watching the videos and interacting with them and stuff. Because it's been so cool for me personally. I really, really love it. Getting to share my experiences means a, a lot to me. It really does mean a lot to me. And getting to have these encounters is... It's just so cool. I mean, you don't get to say every day, hey, I, I spent five minutes watching a Great One Whitetail walking around in front of the sunrise. And finally he did end up spooking off there. Finally he did. Which, like I said, I really don't know why it took him so long to spook, but I'm so glad it did because it meant that I managed to get some pictures that I'm more than happy with. They're some of my favourite Great One pictures I've ever taken. It was just an incredible experience, and I couldn't be more grateful for it. It was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. But it came the time where I knew I, I should probably think about taking this guy out. Now, I decided I wanted to take him out in his feed zone here in the early morning with this beautiful lighting. And we are going to use the 223, which is a weapon I have never used to take a great one. So I figured, again, using a different rifle to take a great one would be really, really cool. It adds to the list of weapons that I've taken great ones with. And, you know, something a little bit challenging. You need to make sure that you get a good shot with this because obviously it's going to be a little bit underpowered for a whitetail. But again, he just feeds out here in front of me. And again, I have good wind and stuff and I'm being very cautious about how I approach him. But, again, just an um, just amazing scene. Like, to hunt in, this is incredible. I love Revon Tuli. Revon Tuli is such a beautiful map. And I have said this ever since it released. It's probably my favourite map in the game still. I love Revon Tuli. It's so awesome. It's got some of my favourite species. I just love the map. And I always wanted to get a great one here that I could actually film and photograph. Because the, the great one I got in multiplayer was on Revon Tuli. But, of course, because it was multiplayer... I'm not worrying about taking pictures and, you know, all of that. I've just got to get that animal on the ground as quickly as possible so that it doesn't get stolen and I don't disconnect or, you know, anything like that. You don't want to lose an animal in multiplayer because you're spending too long worrying about taking pictures. But I prefer, by miles, getting great ones in single player for the reason that I can spend this time with them and really, really take my time. You know, it's a panic in multiplayer and... It, like I said, you can't, you just can't spend time taking pictures and stuff because, like I said, someone could come and steal that animal from you. It's There's just all kinds of things that can go wrong. You can crash, you can... The, the whole session can crash and you can never rejoin it. There's 101 things that can go wrong. But in single player, when you know that, that once that animal's on your map, it's not going anywhere, you can spend the time to have moments like this. And finally, after he lifts his head, I take the shot... I held my breath here for a few seconds because it took him took a second for his health to start dropping. But you can see he's going down quick. He's not going too far after that shot. And I just had to run over and check that it was vital blood. I thought I saw vital blood, but I just had to double check because, like I said, seeing a great one run off, it's always a panic moment for me. I prefer to drop him on the spot. Even in single player, I just get panicky, just was that an okay shot you know you know what happened is it okay is it is it still going to be a great one if i messed it up but it is he is a great one 
315.27 absolutely incredible unique great one white tail wow just wow what an incredible buck like that is just wild looking it's like uh, like his antlers remind me of like architecture they're so incredible and we'll go through the true score and take a look at that he's perfectly even but just so wild looking and i am so so stoked to have a, a great one white tail not only to get another great one white tail but to get one that is so unique like i am really beyond grateful to get one like this it's so cool like it is so so cool and I still want to continue grinding Whitetail now because I, I really, really want to try and get that drop time rack. That is my absolute favourite rack for the Great One Whitetail. But getting something like this along the way is just, what more can you ask for? Like, I am so incredibly grateful that this guy spawned. And it, like I said, I'm so pleased to finally have a version of this rack that I can fully display in the lodge, properly display. Because it's so cool looking. Like, this rack is really cool. I love how bladed the tines are. They're, like, almost palmated. It's really, really cool looking. And, the, like, the smaller Great One Whitetail racks are actually my favourite. I really like them just because they are more unusual looking. And to get an unusual looking one that is even extra unusual because it's got those cross tines. And, like I said, it's really tall and narrow. It's just such a cool looking deer. Is such a cool looking deal. It's like a crown on his head. Absolutely amazing. And you can see the 223 did work there. It got plenty of penetration. So I was probably being a little bit extra cautious. Just because I I probably still have it in my head of what the 223 used to be like before it got buffed. But I'd still rather be extra cautious with animals like this. I never ever want to risk messing up a great one. You know, I will take a risky shot or use a riskier weapon. But only within you know the parameters that i'm comfortable with to the point where i'm pretty sure i can actually make the shot you know these animals mean way too much to me to be messing them up or risking messing them up so i'm always like ultra ultra careful and so i you know with the 223 i knew i wanted to go for a perfectly broadside shot and you know that should punch through into a lung okay and it did more than okay but like i said kind of forgot that the 223 got a buff but either way, it did a perfect job. So that's another rifle, another weapon ticked off the list that I've used to harvest a great one. I'm slowly starting to run out of different weapon choices, <laughs> which is such a wild thing to say. But it's just incredible. Like, I'm so, so grateful. And it, I'm I'm just in shock about it, really. Like, I've, I've, I've said this in the last couple of videos where we've had really special trophies. My luck recently has been so insane. Like, so insane. I've never been this lucky, ever, in my time playing this game. Just never been this lucky. And it feels like so many thousands of hours of work and grinding and everything are just all paying off at once. It's like, all of that effort that I've put in is just finally, like, coming back. And it's it's such a wild feeling. It's such a wild feeling to, to, to do one run last night. And then a great one to spawn. I was just sat there like, what? Like, there's no way. I must be dreaming. And that's the feeling I get when I get a great one. Especially, you know, it happens whether it's a long grind or a short grind. I sit there for a few minutes like, is this a dream? Am I dreaming again? Am I dreaming that I got a great one again? Because I will. I'll have those dreams when I'm grinding for great ones. That, you know, I got the great one that I'm after. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh, I didn't get the great one. And so... It always feels so unreal and you know I have to sit back and you know watch through the footage so that I can record the audio for these videos and sitting back and watching through the clips it's like wow that actually happened <laughs> that actually happened and it's actually you know recorded here as a moment forever you know it's saved that whole experience it's there I can re-watch it whenever I want to re-watch it and relive that moment and that is such a cool thing. That's why I love recording these moments as well. You know, getting to share them is so, so cool. And getting to have these moments documented forever and being able to actually share them and share these experiences is so fantastic. And when you have animals like this, it's just, it's so cool. 
It's so cool. I am so grateful. Like, just insane. I can't say it enough. I can't say how grateful I am and how thankful I am just for how everything has gone recently. It has been absolutely wild. Now, we're going to bring him here into my main trophy lodge. This is my ultimate trophy lodge. You'll notice that there are some empty plaques and stuff. That is because I'm still working on, you know, what I want to put where. Now, I have my Great Ones Whitetail actually here, most of them now. And I decided I wanted to swap one of the big rack Great One Whitetail here for this guy. So that you have four different racks along this wall. And then I'm going to put the, the big rack somewhere else in the lodge. So now we have this guy, then we have the cluster rack, then we have like the short stubby rack, which again is one of the, the smaller racks, but I really love it because it's so mass heavy. And that was again off Rancho. And then we have my one big rack there at the end. So we have like a little display of some of the different different racks for the Great One Whitetail. And yeah, I think this is just, I love this little display of the Whitetail. I think they look so, so good. I really love them along this corridor. And getting to put this guy here is so cool. And like I said, I'll put the big rack somewhere else now as well. So that there's a big rack in a different part of the lodge as well as here on this corridor. It's just so fantastic. It's so fantastic. I'm so, so happy about this. Just a beautiful, beautiful buck. Wow. He looks so cool in the lodge as well. Like, he's so unique looking in comparison to like the other great ones alongside him which is why I, I like having the four different racks here because you can like look at how different they all are and uh, yeah i think it just looks so good i'm really really pleased with this he's such an incredible buck i'm so fortunate and i'm so so grateful but that is going to be it for this video i really really hope you've enjoyed it a very special video for me coming out on, like I said, on my birthday. This is quite a, a cool one to share on my birthday. So I'm really, really, really happy about that as well. And I just can't wait to hear what you guys think. Because honestly, I think that this is some of my favourite Great One footage and favourite Great One pictures I've ever taken. So yeah, I'm really, really excited to actually be able to share them finally. But that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. You guys have been absolutely incredible recently you're just absolutely fantastic and it's very very humbling and it means so so much to me and i'm really really grateful for all of it so thank you so so much but like i said that is going to be it for this one so thank you so so much for watching and i will see you in the next video thank you